www.vivasafactory.com by Vetti from Pondicherry. Good evening. Today, I am going to discuss another most important chapter in organic chemistry, configuration. So, in this class, I am going to discuss what is configuration, what are the types of configurations, how to project a molecule, three-dimensional molecule and two-dimensional by different projections in daytime. Now, what is configuration? The definition here I have. Configuration means the arrangement of atoms or groups in space around asymmetric or dissymmetric or rigid part of a molecule. This is the definition, correct definition for configuration. Configuration means, let me repeat again. Configuration means the arrangement of atoms or group in space around asymmetric optical electric compound. Again, asymmetric, that is dissymmetric, again optical electric compound, but it's not due to asymmetry. Then any rigid part of a molecule, it may not be asymmetric. So, this we will call it as configuration. So, let me go further. What are the types of configuration? There are two types of configuration. One is absolute configuration, another is relative configuration. Absolute means exactly we can fix experimentally. Relative configuration means we can speak relatively with one to another. Let me explain this. So, let me discuss first, what is absolute configuration? Absolute configuration means the exact arrangement of atoms or groups in space around asymmetric or dissymmetric or rigid part of the molecule. This is called absolute configuration. Exact arrangement, that where is that, where is the group, if you want to fix in space, around asymmetric carbon or dissymmetric molecule or a rigid part of a molecule, call it as absolute configuration. This absolute configuration can be determined experimentally by three ways. Number of that one is, the X-ray method we can determine, we can fix. Electron diffraction method we can fix. Specific rotation method we can fix. A number of methods, etc. A number of methods are available. The most important among them, is X-ray method. By allowing a crystal to form, by measuring the angle of the, by using X-ray method, we can measure the bond angle, then everything we can fix. This is the most important, it's called the Bragg's equation, you will be studying again, under the uh, solid state. So, absolute configuration can be determined with the help of X-ray method. That is the most important. The next one, what is the relative configuration? Suppose, if you know the configuration of one molecule, by converting this molecule, that is molecule have, you know, have it is, we know the configuration, we can convert to another molecule whose configuration is not known, but we can speak relatively. What way? There are a number of methods. One is, conversion of unknown to known configuration without disturbing the chiral center. So, that we will take, suppose the molecule A is unknown configuration, we have no idea, but we will change into a B, com B molecular B or compound B. So B configuration is known, and then from the configuration of B, we can speak about A. That is the most important information. So conversion of unknown to known configuration without disturbing chiral center, we will call it as, that is a relative configuration we can speak. Number two, conversion of unknown to known configuration again affecting the chiral center the first case without affecting chiral center the second case affecting the chiral center again we can speak we can say about the relative configuration third is biochemical method we can speak what is a biochemical so for example you take a mixture of racemic form plus form and minus form by suitable method, you remove one thing. So, by removal of plus means you will know inside it is present is and minus. So, if you remove plus, in, in the present will be minus like this. Biochemical method also we can. 
again optical comparison method we can uh, study the relative configuration asymmetric synthesis method also we can so these are the ways we can study the relative configuration okay let me go for the next specification of configuration this is the most important kindly students uh, uh, have it have it in mind and listen carefully this is the most important part of this organic chemistry how to specify a molecule configuration of molecule what are the projection we are using there are three types of projection commonly we are using in organic chemistry one is fischer projection two Newman projection and three Sahar projection. Here, the most important information is Fischer projection is commonly used to write the structure. That means three-dimensional molecular structure. We are writing in two-dimensional board or notebook. That we will call. We are using commonly Fischer projection. I will be discussing in detail. Whereas. Newman projection and Saha projection. These are com these projections are commonly used in organic chemistry to study the stereochemistry, especially stability, reactivity, all these things, only with the help of Newman projection and Saha projection. So in this class, I am going to discuss what is Fischer projection, what is Newman projection, what is Saha projection with a suitable example, how to represent these molecules, three-dimensional molecule and two-dimensional. Um, board or notebook. Let me explain in detail. First, let me take uh, Fischer projection. What is Fischer projection? According to Emil Fischer, in 1891, the three-dimensional molecular structure. We know molecule is three-dimensional structure. So this three-dimensional molecular structure because is drawn in the form of cross plus form of cross in two dimensional representation in board or notebook. So the first idea that is first work was done by Fischer. He only suggested that is how three dimensional molecular structure can be drawn in the form of a cross in two dimensional representation of board or notebook. What way? With, with the carbon at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical lines. So this is the to cross plus form. So this is vertical, this is horizontal. So intersection of this again, the carbon is attached. That is the important information. So the, the vertic, horizontal and vertical lines. So let me repeat again. According to Emil Fischer 1891, the three dimensional molecular structure is drawn in the form of a cross, in the form of a cross, in Two dimensional representation in board or notebook with the carbon at the intersection of horizontal and vertical lines. The four groups or atoms, different atoms are different, different or same. The four groups attached to carbon are placed on four corners. Here I have shown A, B, C, D. It may be an atom, it may be a group, or anything. Four different or four may be same, whatever it may be. So four groups are attached to carbon are placed in this. So this is two-dimensional, but the actual model is three-dimensional. So this is the way the Fischer projector. That means the idea here it is A C it is the horizontal, B D it is in vertical. So the two graphs. So this is the most important information. Okay. Now let me explain that. The horizontal line represents the bonds. Directed toward the observer, this is the most important. The horizontal, this horizontal line represents the bonds directed towards the observer. When observer is viewing the model, molecular model, the horizontal line, uh, the it is projecting towards the observer, and the vertical line represents the bonds away from the observer. But this vertical line here it is. BD is the vertical line, it is just project that is the away from the observer. When you are project, when you are seeing the model, it is away from the observer. So horizontal AC projecting towards observer. The vertical PD is moving away from the observer. So just we can see here in the here. Here we can see that is 
When I am seeing on the board, on my left is A and my right is C. And top is B and bottom is D. So that here, so you just see this is viewing from that. On my left A and my right C. So these two, A and C, when I am viewing from this side, it is projecting toward the observer. These two are projecting toward the observer. That is horizontal. AC horizontal. Whereas B and D, they are away from the observer. And it is for me view from that side. It is away, it is away from the observer. So this I will explain with the model then you can understand. Now, according to Will Fisher, in the case of one asymmetric carbon atom, is the asymmetric carbon atom, one asymmetric carbon atom, that is three dimensional representation, the molecule is so oriented that asymmetric carbon atom is in the plane of the projection. That is the most important information. So, now what I am showing the model is D lactic acid. This is the D lactic acid. So, let me draw here, then you can understand. See the board? This is the D lactic acid. D lactic acid. So, this structure, what I have written structure, now we are viewing the model. I am showing in front of you. Suppose you, you assume you are the observer. On your right side OH. On your left side EH. And it is, these two, this is horizontal groups moving towards you, observer. Now, the top, it is, this is CO and OH. It is moving, that is away from the observer. And again, that is CH3, below CH3. Top is COOH and bottom is the correspondingly CH3. So, when you are viewing the model, according to Fisher, we have to view model in such a way that you have to view like this. So, these two groups, on your that is on your left H and your right OH, moving toward the observer. In the same way, this is C double bond O, OH and below CH3. These two groups are, are moving away from the observer. This is lactic acid, D-lactic acid. So this is, according to Fisher, any asymmetric molecule should be viewed like this. So, okay, let me come back. Next. So what I have written, this is D-lactic acid. Just now I have written, this is the D-lactic acid. And that is, and suppose I am now standing in front of a board. On my left is hydrogen, on my right is OH. The top is COOH and bottom is CH3. This is D-lactic acid. I hope I already informed many times, let me repeat it again. Why I am using D? Because in any of the lactic compound, the lower most asymmetric carbon atom, we have to consider. In the lower most asymmetric carbon atom, any electronegative atom or group on the right hand side, we have to use capital D configuration. Then if it is OH on the left side, any electronegative atom or group on the left hand side, we have to use L, capital L. In this case, the configuration is D-lactic acid. This is the most important information. So, what you are now seeing is D-lactic acid. Tell you follow me, that is, this is the D-lactic acid. So, in the, that is, on your right, OH, on your left, H, and the top, COOH, acid group, CO, carboxylic acid group, and below, CH3 group. This is the lactic acid. What you are saying is D lactic acid. This is the model. So when you are doing this, the, as I have already pointed out, this OH and EH, that these groups are present in the horizontal, moving towards you, observer. Whereas that CO, OH, and CH3 groups are moving away from the observer. They are in the vertical. This, okay, let me come back. So now here again, according to Fisher, the groups. At the top and bottom, the groups at the top and bottom means that is in the vertical or equally inclined below the projection. This is the most important. Let me repeat again. The groups at the top and bottom, these two, whatever groups that are top and bottom, they are in vertical positions and they are equally inclined below the projection. This is according to Fisher. And the groups on the left and right, 
they are called it as horizontal positions left and right or similarly inclined equally above the plane of the projection this is the way this is the facial projection so let me show you the model and you can see that so what we'll just look at the board first i will explain then i will show the model that easily you can understand so i have already pointed out this is nothing but d lactic acid according to fischer that is on my left hydrogen on my right oh top cooh bottom ch3 four different groups asymmetric it is d lactic acid so according to fischer so now just see this is carbon is in the plane so this is considered as a plane eh? the carbon is lying exactly in the plane okay when carbon is exactly lying in the plane automatically the h and oh groups according to me h on my left or oh on the right so they are in they are in the present in the horizontal portions and these two horizontal portions is now viewing it is now towards me when if i am viewing it is towards me if you are viewing it is towards you at the same time below this carbon two oh cooh group and ch groups they are below the carbon that is below the plane of projection so if carbon asymmetric carbon if it is it is according to fischer it is in the line of projection above the line of projection oh and h it is towards the observer projecting towards upward Whereas COOH and CH3, it is below the plane of projection that is carbon atom, and they are moving away from the observer. This is the interesting information. Now I will show you model again. Kindly follow you, follow me. So this is the model. So according to this, so this carbon, this is the oh, I can call it. This is the plane. This is the plane. The carbon, the asymmetric carbon, is in the plane. Now above the plane. The on your on your left edge, on your right edge above the plane, it is pointing towards you. Then this the, in this this is the carbon. This is in the plane. Now below the plane, that is the O O O H carboxylic group and C H three group. They are below the plane. This is the plane which is moving now. It is below the plane. Can you follow me? This is the below the plane. So so this is the plane. Below the plane, CH three and COH. So what you have seen on the board, now I am showing as a model. This is the most important. Let me repeat again. This is the most important. When we are viewing this an asymmetric carbon atom, one asymmetric molecules, the we have to assume ca asymmetric carbon in the plane of projection. Whereas H and OH, according to you, to from for you, this is H on left. OH on the right. They are in the horizontal positions to moving towards the above the plane of Projection that is carbon, whereas CO, OH, CH3 below the plane of projection that is carbon. So this is the way the pressure. We have to be the model and we have to represent in the two-dimensional according to Fischer. Okay, let me go for the next. Now, so far what I have discussed is one more that is a symmetric molecule containing one asymmetric carbon atom. There are many molecules. That is containing several asymmetric carbon atoms. If you take for um, erythrose, thiose, glucose, etc., it is containing more number of asymmetric carbon atom. Then, according to Fischer, in that case, the Fischer suggested it is customary you orient molecule in such a way that so that the carbon chain is vertically lying in the plane of projection. Plane. This is the most important information. Very very important. This is the most important. If a molecule is containing more than one asymmetric carbon atom, like erythro, d erythro, d thiose, and uh, what you can call it as tartaric acid, etc., and even glucose, more than one asymmetric carbon atom. So the the most important information according to Fischer is that is the chain carbon chain is lying vertically. Carbon chain will be lying vertically. Whereas other groups horizontal. This is the most important information. Okay. The next one, another one. The two groups, that is H, O, H, etc. etc. The two groups in the horizontal line represent the bonds directed towards the observer. This is the most important. The two groups on your left and your right, H or O, H groups in the horizontal line represent the bonds directed towards the observer. 
And as I already pointed out, ventricle lines represent bond directed away from the observer. This is away. That means carbon chain, according to Fisher, carbon chain is away from the observer. The group that is horizontal groups, H and Y, will be towards the observer. This is the most important information the, you must know according to Fisher projection. So what I have given is two molecules. One is D-glyceraldehyde, another is D-erythrose. I have now shown here. One is D that is D glycerol high on my left H and my right OH group, and top is CHO and bottom is CH2OH. Four different atoms groups. So this is optically active. We have discussed already because it is having one asymmetric carbon atom. It will exist in the two form plus form and minus form. D glycerol again, another is L glycerol again. As I have already pointed out, D capital D stands because on the right side OH group, more electronegative atom and the group is there, so it is called a D glycerol decay. All this information is okay. So now we can see the model. Now what I am showing now it is this is the D glycerol decay. Kindly just listen me. This is H on your left, H on your left. OH on your right, below CH2OH, HHOH, CH2OH, and here the top C double bond OH. Just see here for your information. So this is on your left H on your right OH, and top CHO and bottom is CH2OH. This is a D glycerol decay. So, if this is one asymmetric carbon atom, in that case, as per the rule, the atomic definition, if it is one asymmetric carbon atom, here the asymmetric carbon is the plane of projection, this H and OH above the plane, and CHO and CH2OH below the plane. So, these two, H and OH moving toward the observer, and CHO and CH2OH is moving down the, away from the observer. This is for one asymmetric. Now, coming for the, the second molecule, D erythrose. That is, so what we have to give is, this is there are four carbon, this is the carbon chain. This is carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3 and carbon 4. There are four carbon atoms. 1, 2, 3 and 4 carbon atoms. All the four carbon atoms, they are lying in the ventricle, ventricle positions. Whereas, in the second carbon atom, H on my left, OH on the right. The third carbon atom, H on my left, OH on the right, and the fourth carbon atom, CH2OH. So, according to Fisher, the CHO, CHOH, CHOH, these entire CHO, that is, four carbon atoms, they are lying in the ventricle. Whereas, the H and OH, it is moving toward the observer. Then this OH again moving toward the observer. This is the way. If more than one asymmetric carbon atom is present, so we have to view the molecule in such a way in the two-dimensional we have to represent here. Now, so I will show you this model also. This D erythrose also I will show you. Now, just see the model. This is the model D erythrose. D erythrose. Kindly first look at the board, I will come for the model later. In my D erythrose, kindly look at the board. D erythrose, there are two asymmetric centers. That is one, two, three, this is four. Four carbon atoms. This is one asymmetric center here, another asymmetric center here. Two asymmetric center. So as I have already pointed out, CHO, that is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon and fourth carbon lying vertically. Whereas H and OH, another H and OH, they are lying in the horizontally. So, in my second carbon atom, on my right hydrogen, and my left hydrogen, on my right OH, the same, same way, third carbon atom, on my left hydrogen, on my right OH group. Now, the below is CS2. Now, I am showing you the model. Kindly listen to me. This is the model. So, what we are doing is D erythrose. What we are doing is D erythrose. Now, On your, that is, that is carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, carbon 4. On your left, hydrogen. On your right, OH. In the second carbon atom. In the third carbon atom, on your left, hydrogen. On your right, OH group. This is the fourth carbon atom. H, H, OH. CH2OH. 
This is D. erythros. So according to Fisher, that's the most important. According to how to view this. So I am viewing like this, but actually when you are writing on the board, or everything in a straight line, it is not actually straight. According to three-dimensional model, it is not actually straight. CHO, now coming here, HYH, HYH, then CH2YH. So when we are viewing this from there, you are seeing now, on the, you are seeing only the second carbon and third carbon, whereas first and fourth carbon are away from you. This is the most important information I want to give here. So on your left, second carbon atom, on your left, hydrogen, on your right, OH. Third carbon atom on your left, H on your right, OH. And this is the fourth carbon atom, CH2OH. It is away. So CHO and CH2OH are away. So what is vertical? CHO, then this carbon, C2 carbon, C3 carbon, C4 carbon, CH2O, everything there in the vertical. But model is okay. But when you are writing in the two dimensional, this is the way you have to write. So this is the molecular model for D erythroid. This is the way we have to project. Can you see the difference? So this is the way we have to see, we have to project the three-dimensional Fitzer projection. But when we are converting this model into board, now this is this is the way you have to convert. This is the most important information. So the carbon one CHO at the top, CHO is second carbon here, third carbon here, and fourth carbon here. They are all the four carbon lying in the vertical positions. Whereas the C2, H2, H left side, Y right side. C3, H left side, Y right side. And this is the horizontal. These horizontal groups, they are projecting toward the observer. So this is the way we have to project according to pressure projection. This is the most important information. Now, so what we are seeing is another complicated structure is D-glucose. That is, we you know, C glucose is 6, H2 12, O6 is the molecular formula for glucose. And uh, glucose, if you want deep glucose, if you write structure, you will write uh, a different structure you can write. Nearly eight possibilities we can write. This, that is, the glucose is one of the, this the formula from this molecular formula. So if you are, what I am representing is deep glucose. So if you consider the lower most asymmetric carbon atom, this is the convention. In the lower most asymmetric carbon atom, OH group on the right hand side, so yellow to negative atom or group on the right hand side. So I am using D. So it is D glucose. So then how many carbon atoms? Just see here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 carbon atoms in the uh, glucose. The All the 6 carbon atoms, they are lying in vertically, in vertical positions. Whereas H and OH in second, OH and H in the third. H and O is in 4, H and O is in 5, they are in the horizontal. So these horizontal positions, groups or atom, or when we are being model, it is towards the observer. Whereas vertical positions, the CHO and CH2, the entire chain will be moving toward the away from the observer. This is according to pressure projections. So starting from a simple molecule methane, and you can view even complicated structure, what way we have to view, what way we have to represent, I have explained you. That is, that is, before going for the next one, let me show you the methane. Just see, this is the methane. This is not an optical active. How to view this? Again, methane, we know there are four different, uh, uh, there are four uh, hydrogen atoms. This is hydrogen, 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 etc. tetrahedron. So according to Fisher, what you have to do, you have to view like this. These two hydrogen is moving toward the observer. So these two is moving away, away from the observer. So this is vertical, this is horizontal. Okay, this is according to Fisher. Okay, let me go for the next one. Let me go for a Newman projection. Kindly listen to me students, I have already pointed out. Special projections we are using only for writing the three-dimensional molecular uh, structure in two-dimensional notebook or board. And I have already pointed out, Newman projection and Saha projection we are commonly used to study the serial chemistry. That is, stability and reactivity we can compare only by Newman and Saha. So let me go for now, Newman projection. What is actually, let me explain, what is the Newman projection? In Newman projection, one has to view carbon-carbon bond end on along the axis of connection. So we have to view carbon-carbon. We have to view one. That is, when we are standing in front, the first carbon we have to view. That is, then again, 
bond against second carbon. So we have to view carbon carbon bond end on along the axis of connection. Okay. The front carbon is represented by a point. This is the most important. So when we are viewing the molecule, the first carbon near, uh, very near to the observer that we have to consider as a point. Okay. Then the intersection bond from it while the rear carbon appears as a circle, that is carbon which is away from the observer should be considered as a circle. So let me repeat again, according to human projections, we have to view carbon-carbon bond end on along the axis of connection. The first carbon, front carbon should be considered as a point, the second carbon, rear carbon should be considered as a circle. Okay. The bonds of the rear carbon in the eclipse to form are shown slightly displays simply to make them visible. So when you are doing the molecule, let me explain what is the eclipse form, what is staggered form, I will explain. But in the eclipse to form, the two groups or two atoms are very close, they are same pair. If they are, we cannot be able to differentiate, we cannot see the back one. So in that, the Neumann suggested that, now what we can say is, the eclipse form that is, Display simply to make them visible. The bonds of the rear carbon, back carbon, in the eclipse form are shown slightly displaced. Slightly displaced such a way that they can be able to see. That look, I will when I view the when I give the model, then you can understand. Okay, let me go for the next. Now let me before under, that is entering into the Neumann projection. So most important term you must understand what is confirmation. Then I can explain you other fact. What is confirmation? Because this is the most important. Compounds having same molecular formula but different spatial arrangements due to carbon-carbon single bond rotation are called conformos and the phenomenon exhibited by these conformos is called confirmation. So if any question is asked in an interview or in the examination, what is confirmation? This is the definition. Let me repeat again. Compounds having same molecular formula but different spatial arrangements due to carbon-carbon single bond rotation are called conformers and this phenomenon exhibited by this conformers is called confirmation. So in this case, so what is the most important here it is according to Newman Minimum two carbon atom is necessary to show confirmation. So we cannot show one carbon atom. So now let me hear. Ethane has two confirmation. Can you follow? I, I will show the, with the molecular model as well as board. I will explain that. Just have it in mind. In ethane there are two confirmations. In propane there are two confirmations. In n-butane there are four confirmations. Normally, question last in competitive examinations. So, let me explain this. Okay, I will go for that. So, what now you are saying? This is according to Fisher production. Ethane, structure of ethane. Now, just see here, this is the ethane molecule. This is according to Fisher. You have to, if it's a two carbon atoms, according to Fisher, you have to view this. This is carbon 1, carbon 2. Carbon 1, again, on your left hydrogen, on your right hydrogen. Carbon 2, on your left hydrogen, right hydrogen. These two hydrogen away from the observer. That means, these two carbon, 1, carbon 2, they are in vertical. And this hydrogen is in horizontal. This hydrogen is in their horizontal. So, these two hydrogen, these two hydrogen moving towards you, observer. And these two hydrogen moving above the observer. This is the way you have to be the model by Fisher. So, that you are seeing in the board. Okay, then, how to view according to Neumann? Can you follow? This is the most important. So now, just see, this is the model according to Neumann, sorry, Fisher you have to view. The same molecular model, now you have to view like this. This is the way you have to view according to Neumann. So, now you are being, this is the carbon now in front of you. This carbon should be considered as a point. Carbon 1, let me call it as Carbon 1, consider as a point. And this is the carbon, just to back side, you have to consider as a circle. Why you are considering? Because when you are seeing this carbon, you cannot see this carbon. It is exactly back. So conventionally, the Neumann suggested, this should be considered as a circle. So, this is a point, this is the three bonds cross section, 
and this carbon is exactly contains a circle these other three atom or groups are now coming from that origin okay this is the way we have to view okay again another important information the newman suggested this hydrogen when you are viewing like this you cannot see so he suggested slightly tilt like this now you can able to see this hydrogen so this hydrogen you can see this key quality as a cleft conformation both hydrogen and hydrogen facing each other they are a cleft okay this is that means this is one ch3 this is another ch3 so now you are seeing first carbon is a point second carbon atom circle this is hydrogen and hydrogen, hydrogen facing each other this is according to newman this is called a cleft conformation okay now i am going to rotate just i am so i am keeping the point carbon that is represented a point i am rotating the circle just see what way that is 60 degree i am rotating when i am rotating just see this hydrogen this hydrogen the maximum distance away it is moved now this is another conformation another spatial arrangement this is called a continuum and staggered conformation again if i rotate this is again 60 degree it is come back original the idea here it is according to newman there are only two conformation possible for ethane this is one so hydrogen hydrogen facing each other this is another is by rotating i clock by 60 degree now this is another conformation this is staggered again if you rotate another 60 coming back original so only two conformation possible for ethane so now newman says there are two conformation possible now we can see the board in the board newman eclipse when hydrogen hydrogen facing each other so c1 this is a point and c2 circle c1 is near it towards oh, if that's very near to you and c2 back it's a circle consider so all the hydrogen atoms i have seen so in the eclipse when hydrogen hydrogen facing each other i am calling it as eclipse conformation whereas hydrogen hydrogen that is maximum distance away i am calling it as staggered conformation i showed you just now there are two possible conformation in the case of ethane one is eclipse form another is staggered form kindly have it in mind which is more stable the staggered conformation is more stable than eclipse so just see here this is eclipse why it is not stable when hydrogen hydrogen is very close if you keep here just see the distance so this is the distance suppose now when we are keeping in the here just see the distance increasing so maximum distance so only in staggered form the two hydrogen atoms are far away when they are far away it is will call a less repulsion more stable that's why staggered conformation is more stable than eclipse conformation this you have to keep in mind in all conformation when we are studying always staggered will be more stable than eclipse among the staggered again we are going to discuss one will be more stable that i will discuss later so temporarily so here in ethane there are two conformation possible one is eclipse another is staggered staggered conformation is more stable than eclipse eclipse now just see here what you are now seeing is propane i will show you propane now so in the board you are now seeing the the newman projection for propane so how do we actually suppose kindly follow so when i am writing the ch3 ch2 ch3 this is the propane so let me call it as this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 so how to so according to newman so we have to view only this carbon 1 and carbon 2 now we are viewing from carbon 1 so automatically carbon 1 will be considered as a point then automatically that is carbon 2 will be ch2 carbon 3 will be ch3 so or otherwise if you are continue seeing from here 1 2 and 3 automatically this will be carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 so we have to view carbon 1 carbon 2 so 3 will be away so only two carbon at a time we have to take in the newman projection and we have to view out of these two carbon when you consider the carbon what you are very near to the observer will be a point the carbon which is away from the observer will be a circle this is the most important information so here now we are taking is carbon 1 ch3 carbon 1 ch3 ch2 again 2 this is 3 so automatically here we are considering only c2 and c3 carbon so automatically now you can see the model here according to you now what i am doing is i am now keeping this 
So I am I am keeping that when I am viewing from here, CH3 is near to me. If I am keeping you that is CH3 towards you, it is CH3 is very near to you. That means that is anyhow this is vertical. So what what I have done in the board is I am keeping the carbon one and uh, the H and this carbon I am not moving. Only this third carbon I am rotating. So I will show you now. What I am rotating, I will show. Now you can see this uh, molecular model. So. So this is CH2, CH3, I am not rotating, I am going to rotate, the, this is considering as a circle. So just see here, this is the eclipse to form, I am now rotating 60 degree, now this is the staggered form of propane. Then again if I rotate, nothing but the original. So again propane, only two confirmation possible. Let me repeat again, CH3 carbon 1. CH2 carbon 2, CH3 carbon 3. So when we are viewing, so automatically, so this car, this is the point nearer, very nearer, you are considering that is point, and this CH3 we have to consider as a circle. So when I am rotating, this is the eclipse to form. When I rotate 60 degree, so now this is the second confirmation. So first one is eclipse, this is staggered. So as usual, staggered is more stable than eclipse. So this is more stable than eclipse. So again in propane, there are only two confirmation possible. Let me go for the for n butane. So n butane again you can think of there are four confirmation possible. So let me show you now. In n butane there are four confirmation possible. So again how to represent now n butane? Normal way when we are writing we will write like this CH two. CS2, CS. This is the way we will write. But when you are considering, so I am here taking this way. This is carbon 1, this is carbon 2. So this is the way I am going to view. So CS3, CS3, I am not viewing that. So automatically, so here we are giving numbering, I am giving C1, that is C1, C2, C3, and C4. But while I am considering according to Newman, C2 and C3 only I am considering. So C3 is very near and C3 is for every circle like that. So just see. This is the butane you can see now. So this is the butane. Kindly follow CH3, CH2, CH2, CS3. Kindly follow one important information I want to see. When we are writing the structure, you are seeing it is a linear. Here we are writing linear. And here even also when we are writing it is a linear. So in two dimensional board or notebook, we are writing and butane as a linear structure. But when you come for model, it is not linear. This is the most important information. So, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. So, this is N butane. So, how to view this? I am viewing like this. So, according to this, CH3 carbon 1, CH2 carbon 2, CH2 carbon 3, CH3. So, I am viewing as per this. This is a point very near up. And I'm just exactly backward, it is a circle. So circle we cannot. So just according to Neil, let me let me start with. Now kindly listen me. So there are six possibility. I am going to rotate. Kindly follow. Then I will show the board. Now this is N butane. First one. CH3, CH3 facing each other. This is number one. Confirmation number one. So I am going to rotate the back side circle one, CH3, 60 degree. This is now staggered. Eclipse number one. This is staggered. Number two. The third again, six or further 60 degree. I am rotating. Just see, this is another eclipse. Third one. Then I am going to rotate again. Then 60 degrees. This is fourth one. Staggered. Four. And again I am rotating. Now this again eclipse. Again 60 degrees. This is eclipse. Then again staggered. And finally coming back original. So there are totally six possibility. Out of six, two are identical. That is. 2 1 uh, that is this is 2 and 6 are identical and uh, that is um, um, 3 and uh, 5 are again identical. Let me show you now the idea. That is just see here. So this is the N beauty as I already point out. So this is the eclipse to form. That is the, just look at this point number 1. That is the board. This is eclipse to form. Now be the beautiful. Now I will show it simultaneously. You can look at the board and immediately I will show the model. This is the eclipse to form number 1. Structure 1, new 1. This is eclipsed. Can you see the I am showing the both angles? This is eclipsed. Number one. So after rotating, that is 60 degree. I am showing this is the second one. Now you look at the board. This is staggered form. 
and this CH3 is rotated 60 degree that is this so this is stagger this is the view this is number sector 2 okay now you go for 3 sector 3 look at the board now now CH3 going again for the rotation again it's producing eclipsed form see the sector 3 eclipse now you show the board now this is the eclipsed what you are seeing is this is the eclipse 3 okay now go for the structure again board go to the board now in the board this is structure 4 now CH3 and CH3 is just opposite which is called stagger again this is the most stable one we are normally use the term now anti confirmation this is the most stable among these the fourth confirmation so what you are seeing is 4 CH3 and CH3 that is each other again 180 degree away from each other this is the most stable number 4 just see that okay let me go for the next one now see that after 60 degree rotation this is now so let me show you the consolidate all the four i will show you now as all the six out of only four is that is most important you must know can you follow me this is the model one eclipse number one i am rotating clockwise for you that is number two number three number four this is the only four is more common mother two are identical so that is number five number six again original let me repeat again kindly follow me this is original methyl group methyl group facing each other that is number one staggered number two eclipse the number again this is further staggered then this is eclipse and this is staggered further so the again so this the, there are six possibility out of these four only possible. Let me explain with this one. So there are six structure possible. Kindly have it in mind now. That is the six you come back. You just look at the structure of six. It is staggered. Methyl groups are very near. Just now you see now again the structure. Now you see that structure two. So structure two again. Kindly see again they are identical. So two and six are identical. The same way. Now, just see here, automatically, the structure is, the three structure you just have it in mind. Kindly look at this, structure three, it is eclipsed. See this here, here, here. Now, the three and then five are identical. Just see here, these five are identical. So, three and five are identical and two and six are identical. So, automatically, only four structures are possible in the case of NBOT. So, this I want to give some information. But wait. Just see here. Suppose if you draw a potential that is curve for this potential energy for this confirmations, this is bond angle. Bond angle. If you draw now, so it is now So this, this is called anti-confirmation, this is called this energy, this is called eclipse, partial eclipse, partial eclipse, the value it is 16 kilojoules and this value it is kilojoule per mole. This is 3.8 kilojoules per mole. And this value, it is 19 kilojoules per mole. So, this is anti, this is partial eclipse. This is partial stagger. Stagger. This is fully eclipsed. So this is the, what is this angle is, in this case, our angle is, that is 0 degree correspondingly, and the corresponding here it is 60, this is it is 120 angle, this is again 180 angle. So, this is the energy profile diagram for that one, I will show you now what is that one, anti-confirmation means that the most stable, this is the anti CH3 and CH3 just pointing opposite side, 180 degree. This is the most stable 
actually anti conformations because that is the most stable one the next one automatically just you think of the other one is the second with partial eclipse means the other one that is fully eclipsed this is the fully eclipsed unstable so there are four possibility so out of this let me show you now this is one fully eclipsed partial staggered partial eclipsed and fully staggered the fully staggered is that is called anti conformation which is more stable that is the lower most energy highly stable this is the important information just i want to give okay so this is the way that is the a new man as projected for the uh, ethe propane and butane now here this is one step again so now if you take an optical electric compound this is containing two asymmetric carbon atom this is nothing but d erythros cho chos 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 how to now we have to view in the uh, corresponding neman projection and now in this case there are six possible ways we can represent the six possible way we can uh, represent this uh, the corresponding um, d erythros what you are seeing in the model is this is the model d erythros this i was using d uh, lactic acid this is aldehyde group coh cho the correspondingly now you have to think of so what i can now rotate here is by rotating this uh, model this special projection model i can i can show you how the neumann you can view that just see here i can keep this this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is the way i can rotate let, let me repeat again can you follow me so this is the special projection h y h c h over the top here c h to y h at the bottom again y is y h e h so this is by keeping like this this is the neumann projections then back side i can rotate in clockwise so this is the cho and ch to oh are facing each other i am row rotating now this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 over there so six possibility now i can show you in the board you can understand that just see here so this is the dr it will just now i have shown you model fixed projection model now so how how i am going to show you just see here so i am writing the fixed projection here the corresponding this is the neumann projection just now i have shown you the let me show you now the structure one you can see here this is structure one let me show you repeat again so kindly see here this is the structure one structure one here that is uh, that when you want to see here wait a minute C H O front, okay back side C H O H. Okay, this is front is C H O C C C double bond O E H. Then this is uh, corresponding O H on your E H. So on your right O H on your left E H and top is C H O. This is the first point. We are considering this carbon is considered as a point. And back side again there is O H, there is E H, and there is a C H O H. So I am going to rotate only C H O H. Can you see this is structure one? So C H that is C H O and C H two Y H are facing each other. Structure one. So Y H Y H facing each other. H and H facing each other. This is a cleft. Okay. Now I am going to rotate clockwise. See the structure two. This is structure two. Can you follow me? Now, now we go to the board now. Go to the board now. See the structure two. that in the sector 2 now you can see that is cho and ch to oh were near and this correspondingly is against uh, opposite ch to that oh again of this one oh so this is the sector this is nothing but stagger now this, this is the sector 2 can you follow me this is the sector 2 correspondingly this is sector 2 that is cho here the correspondingly ch to oh here and oh here this is second now let me go for the sector 3 You see the board as well as my model that you can understand. Again, third structure is Neumann that is eclipsed. Eclipsed again. CH two O H O H facing each other. CH two O H facing each other. O H and H facing each other. This is structure three. Now just see here. This is structure three. That is now you have to think of CH two O facing H and then CH two O H facing O H. 
and that OH is facing H. This is eclipsed. Structure 3. Now, go to the board now. You see the structure 4 now. In structure 4, now see CHO opposite CHOH. And again OH, OH again opposite. H, H is opposite. This is called staggered. This is called anti more stable form. In this case. Okay, now kindly follow me. Now you can look at the model. Now I am now rotating. So automatically, the correspondingly, so this is the model. So COH at the top, OH here, just exactly CHO opposite side CS to OH. This is the anti conformations. Maximum stability will be there. So this is the structure 4. Now, go for again. Sector 5. In sector 5, CHOs, OH facing each other. OH, H facing each other. CHOs, HO facing each other. Again, it is eclipsed. Now, you can see that eclipse. The correspondingly, this eclipse. This is the, the corresponding eclipse. Now, this is the 5. Now, go for the sector 6 now. In sector, sector uh, 6, CHO, CS to OH facing each other. But well, again, I mean, sorry. In, 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 this is the Newman staggered confirmations. CHO opposite H, OH opposite CS to OH, and this OH opposite H. This is the another staggered confirmation. I will show you now the staggered confirmation. So this is the this confirmation. Kindly follow me. Now you see that sector 6, this is the sector 6. So CHO. And this exceeds to y h, and in front of you on your right y h and your left h, the carbon one that is in this case two, that is three here, c s to y h. This is again staggered, and finally it will come back original. So there are three possible structure for this staggered confirmation is possible in this case. So this is the most important information regarding the Neyman protections. I hope I can stop with this. I will go for the next class. That is how to convert the fissure to uh, that is some um, sahars I will discuss in the next class. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you.